Hello, this video will look at the short run fixed proportions production function. So here we have a fixed proportions production function where Q output, quantity of output is a minimum of 2L or 3K. L is units of labor, K is units of capital. Since this is a short run, we're going to assume K is fixed at 2. So plugging 2 into the production function for K and then simplifying. So 3 times 2 is going to be 6. So our short run production function with fixed proportions is going to be output is the minimum of 2L or 6. Let's go ahead and put a table together to see how output changes as we hire more workers in the short run, given again that capital is fixed at 2. If labor is 0, output will just be the minimum of 2 times 0 or 6. In this case, it's 0. If labor is 1, output is a minimum of 2 times 1 or 6. In this case, output will be 2. If labor is 2, output will be the minimum of 2 times 2, which is 4 or 6. So 4 is the minimum number there. Labor is 3. Uh, output will be 6. When labor is 4, output will be the minimum of 8 or 6. In this case, it's 6. When labor is 5, output will be the minimum of 10 or 6. Again, it's going to be 6. So the marginal product here of the first worker is 2. Hiring the first worker, output goes up by 2 units. Marginal product of the second worker is also 2. When we go from 1 to 2 workers, output goes from 2 to 4, a 2-unit increase. The marginal product of the third worker is 2. As we go from 2 to 3 workers, output goes from 4 to 6. The marginal product of the fourth worker is 0. Output doesn't go up or down by hiring the fourth worker. And I should point out that diminishing returns to labor begin with the fourth worker. When we hire the fourth worker, marginal product falls. It goes from 2 with the third worker to a marginal product of 0 with the fourth worker. And finally here, the marginal product of the fifth worker or sixth worker, seventh worker will also be zero. Let's go ahead and graph this short run production function. So here's our production function in the short run when k is 2. And just graphing those values from the table. When l is 1, output is 2. When l is 2, output is 4. When l is 3, output is 6. And any quantity of labor beyond 3 uh, we can't produce more than six units of output. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.